Today I've got a giant power 3,300 milliamp hour battery rated for 35C. It's a high performance battery by Mojo Racing. It retails for about $15 cheaper than the stock E-Flight batteries, which are only 3,000 milliamp hours. So you get a little extra battery power for a lot cheaper. Um, today we're gonna put them to the test and see how long we can fly you can see I got the bag out another battery in there. I'm gonna put put it to the test. See how long we can get hovering in AP mode. Now bear in mind this is an FPV machine because I've got a 600 milliwatt transmitter and a Mobius cam, all being powered off the copter. So factor that in. Let's turn on our 350 here. We've got our. FPV monitor. Agility mode. Stability mode. Return home. Stability mode. Stability low angle. Alright, now we're in AP mode. Sorry about that. Let's take off. windy out today. The sun's in my eyes, but we're going to try to see. Let's come more towards this way. There we go. Now we're going to try to hover here. I have my transmitter timer set to 11 minutes. So we've got rolling video. windy today. It's kind of bobbing up and down, but Don't forget, we've also got the carbon fiber propellers on here, not the stock. And those do use a little more energy than the default. Nonetheless, should still be accurate enough to this hover test.
six minute forty. Left on the transmitter. Remember, it started at eleven minutes. We're out in the wind. We got the black pearl. We got the Mobius. 600 milliwatt transmitter going in there. That's still hovering. Five inches in it. Fighting the wind, fighting the wind a little bit. Five minutes remaining on ZX6. minutes remaining on DX6 where we started 11 minutes. Two minutes, 16 seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two minutes, 16 seconds. A little all over the place today because of the wind, as you can see. We're down to two minutes remaining. And I don't even see the low voltage light. Low voltage warning light. We haven't hit that yet. 
usually go a little longer past it when you see the light for the first time on the 350. Oh, all right, now we've got the light. I think, oh, maybe not. One minute, 30 seconds. No light yet. No, it wasn't the light, it was just a, just a blip. Remember, we've got FPV, we've got carbon fiber blades, we've got a Mobius being powered from the servo on the board. Zero minutes, zero minutes 56 seconds on transmitter now. No low voltage light. Zero minutes, sorry for the shakiness. Zero minutes 46 seconds. Oh, and now we've hit the low voltage light. Let's just wait, I'm sure we can go a little longer than this. Alright, we got 30 seconds, and yeah, we'll make it. And we've hit 11 minutes of runtime. All right, we're taking it in. Wow! Oh. Camera's still running and everything. So in total, I don't expect everyone to watch the entire video, but to recap, We've got the giant power 3,300 milliamp hour battery. Ran it for about 10 minutes, 30 seconds on the timer using the DX6. And it appears that even, and this is with all the FPV equipment and the carbon fiber blades, which as you know, use more a little more energy than the default. So, $15 cheaper, 300 more milliamp hours than E-Flight, plus a higher C rating, you got the 5C fast charge, these batteries are a no-brainer. Thanks for watching, buy Giant Power batteries, that's it.